Alright guys, today as app review is going to be on this application, it's called Zuper Widget Pro and I'm going to be doing a really cool um, app review on this. This widget uh, application is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to just show you uh, some of it and show you how some of it works. Now this is the pro version, I'm also going to talk a little bit about the free version, there are two versions of it, but the pro version is well worth your money, um, it's $250, $249 or whatever off of Google Play. Go ahead and check it out really quick here this is it right here on the side see this um, widget with my calendar these are the two apps here's the pro whoop, and there right over there is the free and then this is a widget um, so it looks really really cool you can do some things with it but what's amazing about it is it's totally customizable so let me just go ahead and show you how you actually do it once you have it downloaded you go in here to widgets or wherever your widgets are, if they're in your app drawer, it really doesn't matter. Now it is Z, so it is at the end of my widgets, and I do have an insane amount in here. So let me get all the way back there to them. Okay, so here we go. So basically, it has almost every size widget you can think of already. So 1 to 1, 2 to 1, 3 to 1, and, and so on. So I'm just going to show you one really quick with um, 2 by 3. And I'm going to go with the free version of 2x3, which is this one. And we're going to set it over here. And there you go. So then it says um, tap or hold to resize and tap to start. I'm going to go ahead and just tap it to start. And we're going to set up this widget and do some cool things. On the free version, the first thing that comes up is this screen. And it asks you, do you want to use one of these pre-made templates? So, which are very cool. There are a lot of them in here that do a lot of neat stuff. Um, and I'm actually going to use one really quick just to give you a comparison. So we're going to go ahead and use this one, which you've already seen. And you can, from here, go in here and actually edit it. And edit each thing. Like, so you can edit the text. And you can pick where you want the text to sit. You can move it around on the screen. So you can see the text moving right there bring it back to where you want it. You can move it up and down um, just to give you a fair understanding of how this functions. And you can keep going and there's more text content and there's just, it, there's just color. I mean, literally, you totally can customize this widget exactly how you want it. You can change pretty much everything about it um, through these settings, which is just amazing, honestly. It's really, really fun too. So. We're just going to go back out of this one, hit my back button, and that widget's going to populate. So now you can see it and kind of get a comparison. It's smaller than my other one, but I want to show you. This is the free version, but what, what, and when you tap on the free version, it just opens back up, and you can go ahead and edit the widget. Okay, That's how the free version works. It's strictly a widget. If you get the pro version, on the other hand, which is really, really cool, and I absolutely dig, you can assign applications to open when you tap on the widget. So for example, I have a calendar here on the right hand side. Why not open my calendar when you tap on it? That makes sense. So here I can tap on it and it'll open up my calendar. And I can do that now with anything. So for example, here's another widget that I've went ahead and created. And this widget actually covers this whole area, just so you can see it. You can see all these, these three things are all one widget. And I've created this one so that it has my free memory in the top left, has my battery in the top right, along with guesstimated hours of time left before the battery dies, which is really, really slick. And you can do way more than this, but, and then I have obviously your weather in the center. And now, because I have the Pro, this is a Pro widget, I can tap on it and it opens my preferred weather widget, which is called Weatherbug. So, um, like I said, this is just super awesome. When you get the Pro version, it does come with a lot of more really cool features on it. So, you've seen that. We're going to go back into the Pro widget this time. And now if you want to configure those widgets, because before on the free one, you can just touch it and it comes up to the configure screen. Now when you touch it, it launches something. So, if you want to configure one, you'd click here and you'd go to one of the two widgets. There's the one. If you click on that other one then you would go to the other one 
configure it. So let me just show you something. So right here it says widget tap on action. That's where you would set that in the pro version. And you can see some things you can set right there. And then here you can do, you can pick your application you want to launch when you tap on the tap on it. Or you can pick your shortcut, shortcut you want to launch when you tap on it. Um, so like I said, very, very cool. I'm going to go scroll to my weather bug. And that's what I want to launch when I tap on the widget. But you can do any app. You want to tap on it and have Angry Birds launch. You can do that. Um, so you can see that this is just pack full. I mean, literally, you can make this widget. It's, it's like a drawing board. It's, that's what makes it so amazing. If you like to edit your phone and do cool stuff, it's like a drawing board on your home screen that, that you create your own widget, basically. Make it. You can do whatever you want. You can change the fonts. I mean, go into one of these. See? You have all these different things right here. And you can change fonts on it. You can do pretty much anything. So there's the one I did right there. I'm going to add a new one just to give you... So you push the plus button. Um, you pick from what kind of a uh, thing you want to add. Most of the stuff I've seen that works pretty good. I've played with some of the other stuff, but I've got to learn it more. But text. So if you go to text, you can see a little text in the center. And I'm going to put an anchor point. I'm going to say... Uh, what do you want to say this? Center. We'll do left center. So right over there is that text. And then I actually want to make it up towards where my memory's at. So I'm going to hit the offset button here. And we're going to move it up. So see it going up. Maybe like that. Okay. And then uh, you can do that tap. The module tap on what it's going to do but i'm not going to do that yet so next i'm going to go to tech context and i want this to be more system information so here's a bunch of system information that i can set up there uh so i think i want to see what processes are running i'm kind of a nerd like that so i want to do that and uh, so now it says i have 77 processes running then i can change the right here i can change the size of it so I don't know whatever I want to do. 16 maybe. I can change the color. And you have a whole color plate. And you could go like red and then apply it. So now it's in red. But I really like white. So we're going to go back to white and apply it. Um, right here you have the font. And these are a bunch of fonts you can pick from. Um, I don't know which one I actually even used for this. I'm just going to pick another one. So we'll use that one. And then if you have like a lot of text, you can align things right there with that setting. And scales and ratios and blur and I mean it goes on and on. Find control for most aspects, modules, variant. there's some bunch of more controls right here in advanced. And this gets a little more detailed and complicated. I'm not going to go over it because there's a lot to it. But it is there. And so I think that pretty much gives you a good idea how it works. You know left would right would be up here if you want to move it left and right. You can do that, and then you just back out when you're done, all the way out, and we'll scroll over to it, and you can see I now have the processes that are running, 77. I have free memory, 678 megabytes right up there in the top left. And like I said, it's, it's just crazy. You can do backgrounds. You can, Right now I have this on a clear background. I like it because it just looks really clean, but you can change the backdrop of the widget to be a picture. You can change it to be any color you want. Um, I mean, it's just the customization of these widgets are absolutely crazy. So I think hopefully I've talked enough about this thing. As you can see, I absolutely love it. It is a fantastic Zuper widget. And it even has forums on XDA where people have created their own widgets and uploaded them and share them with you guys. And if you get the pro version, you can download a new widget and put it on there, which is very, very cool. Um, so let me just show you that actually really quick just to show you how that's going to function So you go to configure a widget go right here to this widget then you would hit like save you can give it a name and Say so yeah, I'm just gonna say Tom if I can spell Tom All right, and then I'm gonna save it and then if you want if you had when you downloaded you'd go in here and You could go right here template saved on SD card and you would click on it and anything that's saved on your SD card in the template folder, you could load up. So when you download them from XDA, you would save it right there. You could load that up and you would be good. And then this is in the pro version again. So if you want to create your own, you'd go to empty. If you want to use a, a 
a built-in, which are those widgets that you saw in the list. You would go here. Um, empty would be like starting your own from scratch right there. And so on. So absolutely love it. This widget is amazing. I'm going to be playing this thing for days. Uh, it even has some kind of a tasker built in. I'm going to look into that too. That looks really cool. Um, man, if you're into customization, this is the widget for you. This thing is awesome. So I hope you guys like this uh, app review of Zooper and hope it explained it pretty well. Please, dude, go out and buy this. $250, it's well worth your money, trust me. Check out stuff on XDA and we'll go from there. I'll give you guys links to this and XDA post and all that stuff in the video description as always. We'll catch you guys later. Root Junkie, out.